Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a professional debugging how-to guide. Recently I had to replace the rear doors on my VW Caddy work van and the new ones still have the original badges on, which need to be removed. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Stage 1 is quite simply to heat the badge using a heat gun to begin softening up the glue that's holding the badge on. Don't hold the heat gun too closely to the paintwork as this can cause the paint to bubble and blister which you obviously don't want to happen. A good form of practice is to place your hand every now and then on the badge area to make sure that you aren't heating it up excessively. The best idea is to hold the heat gun at a bit of a distance away from the badge in order to heat it up gradually. When you are happy that the badge has been gradually heated up to a point where we would be able to pop the badges off, take some fishing wire and begin to cut around the back of the badge. Be careful with fishing wire as some of them could potentially slice your finger when constricted too tightly. I like to wrap a microfiber towel around my finger and then wrap the fishing wire around the towel simply to make sure that I don't cut myself as the fishing wire is incredibly sharp due to how thin and strong it is. I'll then just hold the case where the fishing wire comes out of and begin to saw away behind those badges. This is quite possibly the easiest stage of the process and those badges should pop themselves off nicely. Whilst the glue residue is still warm, simply rub at the edges to remove the bulk of the glue residue. After the bulk of residue is removed, I will dose the areas with tar and glue remover, which is a product called AutoSmart TARDIS, and begin wiping away until all final traces of the glue residue is completely removed, or as much as possible anyway. Please note that these badges have been on the vehicle for 11 years, so to get them perfect is going to be impossible. The doors are going in for a respray, in fact I'm even contemplating having the entire van resprayed Nardo Grey, so these slightly old and tatty rear doors will soon be looking new again. I just need the badges removed. Those badges to any car enthusiast are just so ugly, so I repeated the same process on the other side of the doors to remove the C20 badge. Take your time when debadging, don't rush, otherwise bad things could happen. This must have been one of my first modifications or personalizations that I ever made in my first car some 13 years ago, and it almost feels strange to be doing it once again over a decade later, although the van is going to look so much better off for it. I did perform my first ever badge removal and replacement on a customer's vehicle a few weeks back. It was a tangerine orange Range Rover Sport and the faded and discoloured standard silver badges were replaced with matte black ones. Check my Instagram feed out for some photos and a guide. I did plan to make a video on it, although I forgot my tripod so I wasn't able to. I mean, the Range Rover wasn't exactly... It wasn't old. Mm. Um, if it was old, like this is 11 years old, this badge has been on there for. So, I'm going to have to. I may as well wet sand this now. Because that stain then is just. Considering how old these rear doors are, I decided to crack out some wet and dry paper and give the areas a thorough wet sand. Quite simply to knock the paintwork back to remove that deeply engraved staining and discoloration in a hope that these areas will be mint when machine polished back up. Just like wet sanding all painted areas on a vehicle, you want to go about it in a controlled and gentle manner and only do what's required. But the reality of it is, is that those badges have been on for so long that they really have discoloured the paintwork. Today, I'm just going to do my best to get them presentable. Oh no. 
knackers. I've fired up this sleeve. You have? Yeah. Well, probably the same. No, no. Garage next door did that for me. I can't do mechanics or anything. That's mad though, it ran out within... Within a month. Within a month? Well, when I took it to it, it says, how often do you check it? It says once a month. It says you need to be out checking it constantly. It says lock holes tend to burn oil off. What quicker? Uh, well, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not a fan of Voxels. Well, I don't think I am after having that one. <laughs> The idea with wet sanding is to achieve an even and flat finish over the subject area, getting it ready for being machine polished back up to a deep gloss finish and in return removing those troublesome defects. I'm using a FlexiPads microfiber cutting disc 3 inch on the Rupes Mini Bigfoot machine polisher. I've applied a few blobs of the Rupes Green Medium compound and will set about giving those certain areas a thorough going over. It takes what it takes with this type of work, after giving the areas a good and thorough cut, simply wipe the area and inspect them with an LED light source and set about more machine polishing work if required. You're just not in the mood to do something. Well, you do it quite often as well, don't you? Yeah. Polishing. Well, if we've been doing it all day, then it's different, but because yeah. we, we just haven't, it's hard to get into the... Get into the mood. Yeah. I need to do my bit as well. I gave both sections on the rear doors a good going over, which brought the paintwork back to a lovely condition. After cutting the paintwork, you will then need to polish, so I opted to use a Rupes White finishing polish and the Rupes White finishing pad and set about giving those areas of paintwork a final finishing stage. At this point, the gloss levels on the VW Caddy were starting to come back and I was happy that those hideous badges were removed. 
VW Caddy doesn't seem to get much attention nowadays as business is so busy, but it has made me want to free up a day to give the Caddy some much needed love. The final stage that I need to get done is to protect these areas of paintwork, but considering that these rear doors are going to be painted, deems it pointless putting any ceramic coating on there. Debadging is quite simple, it just requires the right bit of kit and knowledge, which with this video should sort you out with the basics. As always, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and don't forget to turn those notifications on so you don't miss lots of up and coming content. Be sure to give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. Give that like button a tickle, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.